Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 9. Guys, we've just updated to version 0 0.0.32 and guys, they have added Ender IO. That's right. I can't believe this day is here. Like Ender IO hasn't existed since like 1.12.2, I think, or around that time. Like, it's been several years since we've had Ender IO. And I'm just beyond excited for it. Like, holy crap, look at this. I've never been more excited to see a Guardian diode in my entire life. I don't remember that one, but I do remember the Franken Zombie using the Soul Binder. Oh, man, and you make. Oh man, soul binding. Where's the slice and splice? There it is, the slice and splice from Ender.io. Guys, we are definitely jumping into this today. Uh, we need to make ourselves a primitive alloy smelter and we need to get some deep slate. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cook some of that up. And then we need to make some grains of infinity. So it says hold some flint in your off hand and some deep slate or cobbled deep slate in your main hand. Then shift right click a block of obsidian, crying obsidian or a grindstone to produce early grains of infinity. Uh, the other one is just setting uh, bedrock on fire, which we can do. Um, so let's go ahead and make some flint and steel. I want to go ahead and try this. If we can just shift right click a grindstone, so off hand. Okay, that, that didn't really work. What about... Did I get him backwards? Ah, don't do that. Um, Cobbled leap slate in your main hand. Okay, so that doesn't doesn't seem to be working. Grindstone or a grindstone to produce early grains of infinity. So there's a grindstone, right? Maybe I need to click it from the top. Okay, maybe maybe we just go set some bedrock on fire. I like that idea. All right, so we're down here at bedrock, and if I remember, oh, if I remember correctly, you just set these on fire, and we may actually need fire tick to be on for this, but we will see. Um, game rule: do fire tick true? I think is what we need to do. Oh. Should probably let the members know that fire tick has been turned back on. Now, does it do it if it's set to false? Ow. Oh, oh. All right, so fire tick is set to false and all of the, oh, it does work. Okay, so if you're on a server and fire tick has been turned off, uh, this will still work, which is good to know. All right, so that entire uh, flint and steel got us 24 grains of infinity. Now I do believe, shift right click, a block of obsidian. I think that that might be the best way to do it. Fire water. Well, that that's not what I hit, come on. Fire water. Hmm. Okay. So now that we have that completed, if we look here, we got our deep slate and we should be able to make our primitive alloy smelter. Very good. Um, now how's the UI? Does it break with a pick? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's, I am working on a a base as you can see here um it's pretty cool um yeah we're working on it nothing done yet i don't want to like really show it off yet i'm gonna finish the front facade and then i'll bring you guys in but let's go ahead and i think we should replace one of the furnaces with this guy yeah we'll put this in here so that means that we can use this to smelt down or to alloy things um for example dark steel we need powder coal iron ingots or obsidian um, but our goal is to get to, um, we need a normal alloy smelter. So let's, let's see here. A normal alloy smelter requires dark steel. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be obsidian. Do I have any obsidian left? 
Obsidian. I do have a little bit of obsidian. Uh, we have a little bit of coal. Um, if you guys don't... Oh, actually, I haven't showed you guys this, but I've converted all of this to Insanium Farmland. Um, so it's growing as fast as it can. And we're only at 102,000 coal. I don't know if that's going to be enough for our needs, um, but we can definitely try to make it work. <laughs> uh, yeah, that farm has been running really good. Uh, so powdered coal. How do we make that? Sag mill... That requires dark steel. So we have to use it a different way. Hold some flint in your off hand and three or more coal in your right hand. Then shift or right click a block of obsidian or crying obsidian or a grindstone to produce early, early powdered coal. All right, so the grindstone doesn't seem to be working. So we're going to have to use some obsidian here. Good thing is we can mine the obsidian. I'm going to put this in the ground um, just for safekeeping. All right, so we need flint in our off hand, coal in this hand, and we shift. Yes, look at that, it's working. Good, very good. Okay, what was this one then? Cobbled deep slate and a flint and steel. We're gonna try this one more time with the obsidian. I didn't realize that this was so good. So shift, hmm. Oh, it's not flint and steel. It's just flint. Oh, my gosh. You guys are probably yelling at me in the comments. You can. That was dumb of me. I thought it was flint and steel. But no, that gives us a full stack. Very cool. Okay, so we got more grains of infinity. Very good. All right, so six of you. And then we need some iron. And we should do that. And there we go. We're... Oh, that's taking a minute. We're going to get ourselves some dark steel. Um, let's make some void chassis. I haven't had to make these in so long. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, a cauldron. We can make that. Very good. Um, dark steel. We need a lot of dark steel. Infinity, one of bimetal gear. We'll make four of them, because I would like to make a sag mill as well. Um, oh, nice. Got our first dark steel. Let's go. Okay, so we don't need that here. Let's make some fruit salad while we wait and snack up. Oh, we're full. Never mind. Okay, so we have a little bit of some dark steel here. Definitely not enough to make two of these gears. Um, should be able to make one. Yep, okay, so we got some, a one dark bimetal gear. Good. I need to go get some more obsidian, so I'm going to do that with the power of vein mining. This is going to be a cakewalk. And with the power of vein mining, we get uh, over two stacks of obsidian. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little crazy. I'm also going to go ahead and grab a bunch more coal. And I'm going to start making some of the coal dust. Because uh, we definitely we definitely have enough to, to spare some. So that's good. But yeah, very excited for Ender.io to be back. I just I can't get over how long it's been. I feel like the dad from uh, How to Train Your Dragon. But anywho, I'll be right back. Oh, it doesn't refill. Okay, so just going to throw these into there. So we've got a full stack of everything in there except for iron. We are running low on iron, but that's okay. Check it out. So we've got a total of three more of these, which means we should be able to make our second gear. Very good. And now all we need is two more of these guys to process up, and we can make ourselves an alloy smelter. All right, and with two of these processed, that means now we can afford to make an alloy smelter. And oh my gosh, has it been a while. Oh, so good. Oh, that's right, we need to make a capacitor. Man, it's been a minute since I've played with this mod. Um, Okay, we need the basic one. All right, so we've got a basic capacitor here. This will hold a decent chunk of power. Now we need to look into RF tools. Oh, wait, no, I need to hit at before. And we need to make a dimensional cell. Um, there we go. Wait, are we out of diamonds? I didn't realize we were out completely out of diamonds. Huh. We totally are out of diamonds. Oh, man. That is not very good. Am I really? 
got a diamond helmet. Oh, okay. Well, um, I gotta do some mining. <laughs> I kid you not. We are... I just started mining. Like, I messed up mining this one. And we've already got, I think, two... Two vein... I just tried to mine obsidian... Or bedrock. Don't, don't worry about that. Now we have 13. So we can go back home. Like, that... That was surprisingly easy. Okay. So we need to make one of these now we can very good so this is going to get power to our alloy smelter i do need one of these we need to link it up to this guy and we can just do it by this very good and then we can just place this here put that in so it shows all of our power and the cool thing is for every one of these we add on uh we each of these has a little uh power buffer power bank for themselves and so it actually adds it to the network so i think the 250,000 rf so it's really cool that it adds it to our little battery bank basically and yep this one is set up oh my gosh oh shoot i just took the card out okay gotta be careful with that but you can set oh look at this look at this ui change alloys only furnace only and then you can do both so if you want to smelt a bunch of things here at the same time you can if you don't want to alloy them together um but yeah let's see about what do we need first off um lots of glass options um i guess let's see what we need for this guy which is the double layer which is going to be twice as fast uh we need energetic alloy which is going to be glowstone, gold, and redstone. So we have redstone. The good thing is we got gold, and then I've also got glowstone as well. So we can add all of those together and out on all sides. We should be getting power in here. Oh, my. It's, it's working weirdly. What's going on here? draining these guys no what it's like it's not able to pull any i might need to break it and place it back down because we pulled the thing out input output is at 1250 rf per tick and we don't need that um like it's just it's not able to take power out fast enough i guess i could have just run a cable at ah, cheese Oh, wait, what if... Oh, shoot! I feel like an idiot. Out. There we go. Jeez, I disabled that side from working. No wonder why it wasn't working. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was silly. Alright, but this is now working. Uh, once we get two of them, we can actually go ahead and upgrade to the second... Oh, we need two more basic tiers. Man, it's so good to be using Ender IO again. I can't tell you guys how good it is to use Ender IO again. Okay, so this is going to make it work even faster. I don't know if we can maintain this, but it's going to smelt things way quicker, which is what we like. So let's have a look here. These guys are going. Uh, yeah, we're going to have struggles keeping up. So that just means we need to add more Furnators. Our coal processing plant can do that. All right, we're going to get three more Furnators going. All right, actually, maybe four. All right, and then we're going to upgrade them. Oh, jeez, we need more of these. Well, I guess three is the magic number because we are out of iron. <laughs> it's just not a good thing. Oh, boy. Okay, so here we go. Oops, does not want to do that. Cool beans. So those are going to be on the back. And we can click those here. And then let's also go ahead. We've got to get some items in there. Some item pipes. All right, and boom, boom, boom. These guys should start pumping out power. 
Yeah, I need to... don't have a speed upgrade in here quite yet. And there we go. So now we are producing double the amount of power. As you can see, this is starting to come back up. This is at full. And okay, so those are all starting to come back up. So now we can uh, go ahead and support this with our power system, which is amazing. All right, we got 29 energetic alloy. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. We'll let those continue to go up. But those are good. And then for the final tier... I don't know what tier that is. This is the, the octatic capacitor, and we need vibrant alloy, which we need ender pearls for, and we do not have a way to get ender pearls just yet, but we will eventually have some. Um, dragon's eye. End stone. Yeah, like an ender comb will probably be the best, like getting ender bees, which is pretty simple. I think the uh, the end is actually already open. But yeah, there we go. So we've got the beginnings of Ender I.O. Let's go ahead and work on getting a sag mill. Um, oh, wait, didn't I use all my iron? Frick, I think I did. Yep. Well, I got to go mining again. See, see y'all around. Okay, so I was just mining. We're actually pretty close to home. Um, yeah, we're like right here, a little underneath the, the bees. And I found this uh, spawner. I've, I didn't know it was here. Oh, micro missiles. I love those. But we got a loot capacitor, which is something I haven't seen in a while. Um, transistor. I th no, that's for pneumatic craft. Okay. So the uh, micro missiles, check this out. They are awesome. There's so much fun to use. You can have them target mobs. Oh, man. I love micro missiles. Um, but yeah, I'm just going down here. We got some iron over here. There's a lot of iron down at this Y level. We even got some redstone, which wouldn't be the worst idea to grab. But yeah, I'm going to keep mining here. Uh, not do too much mining and then we'll be back. But yeah, we got lots of iron to grab. And I love using the complementary shaders because the ores just stand out so easily. And I just love it. Like, it's hard to mistake it for something else. So, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so we got a decent amount of iron here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the ore hammers to go ahead and double those on top of the Fortune 3 that we were using on them. Uh, so, yeah, modded is awesome. Also, the whole uh, utilize the ore hammers with create and not take any damage. Uh, that has been disabled. So, we're going to switch this to furnace only. And so we can throw in all of our iron and it's going to smelt it up at three at a time. So this is a great, great way to get some more bang for our buck. Okay, so I want to see if this loot capacitor is a... Uh, let's see, base modifier two, base modifier of one. And 70... I actually think it's faster, it just doesn't hold as much power. So we're just going to leave that one in for a bit. We'll put that in the sag mill once we can make it. Um, but yeah, this is giving us a whole heck ton of iron. So our iron supply is coming back up nice and uh, good. I was just looking into ways we could automate iron. And I honestly think the mystical agriculture seeds are still going to be our best bet. Because I was looking at maybe we could do it through create. It'd be really cool uh, to get some iron nuggets. But in order to do that... Uh, we need to make tough, right? And that gives us actually a decent chance of all of this. So this is still definitely on the table. Um, but I was just looking. I'm like, to make tough, the best way to automate tough is to use mystical agriculture. We can do stone essence, or stone seeds and fire seeds. Um, but then again, if we just did iron seeds, it'd be easier. Actually, I think it'd be fun to do the whole ingot method. Um... Yeah, I think we should do this in a couple episodes because this gives us flint as well. And what can we use flint for? A warp plate. That's cool. Um, it's useful for making a sag mill. Uh, wither plate. Template board. Block of flint. Uh, good for making a cold fire igniter. Interesting. And then you can use it. Ah, oh, we can use it for a couple more things. Maybe it's not that bad of... A material to have a uh, block of flint is useless it's just a better way to store it i guess um but yeah this should be rolling look at that we got so much iron now i feel great okay so with ender io you might be asking why is ender io so good this is just an alloy smelter it's just a different kind of smelter uh it's got a couple other things that we might like but 
What I want to tell you is the item conduits are the reason everyone, the, the pipes is why at least I absolutely love Ender IO. Um, progress is zero. Is it this? Hmm, okay, we've seemed to have found a bug. I am currently trying to make pulsating iron and it is not allowing me to. Um because I want to make the pipe. Yep, we're doing everything right. Oh! Alloys. I forgot. I just had it set to furnace. Okay. We're good. Uh, I'm going to do both here. But yes, now we have ourselves pulsating and here we go. We're going to take these and we need to make some conduit binder, which is this stuff. Um, that actually gave us a decent amount. So we can throw this into the alloy smelter. And there we go. We ourselves can now make the item conduit. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been so long. How I've missed you. Oh man. We got another eight. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than pipe. Now I want to go ahead. You, you can add fluid conduits right next to them. Oh, jeez. So you got to mix glass with amethyst. Do we, have we found any amethyst? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, so we can't make the fluid pipe yet, but you can. Actually, we're going to see here. Conduit binder. You can add ME co- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys. I swear, this... I forgot. I, did, I don't even remember that. Oh my... Am I really out of sand? That sucks. Um... <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and make a couple of things here. Um, I want to make the energy uh, pipe here. And so it needs iron, redstone, and copper alloy. And copper alloy is silicone and copper. Um, I should have a bit of copper laying around. Yeah, we got, we got a decent amount here. And so all I'm going to do is combine these two together. And we can make ourselves things and stuffs. Good. Copper alloy ingot. Very nice. Might need to set up probably three or four of these. Okay. And now to make the conductive alloy ingots, we just need redstone, iron, and copper. And I have those. So we're good to go. Okay. So we got a little bit of the conductive alloy here. And boom. Boom. There we go. Um, uses kin. Nope, we can't really do anything else with that. That's totally okay. But check this out. We're going to utilize it for this here, for our power. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place all of these guys here. Yep, we're looking good. Oh, not like this. And let's see. Ah, okay. Sorry, it took me a bit to remember how this works. So we could click here. This is the input. It's not really labeled well, um, but you have to check this and uncheck that so it can't pull anything out. All right. And so this we set to always active. Yep, and as you can see, that's putting those in there. So I'm gonna break this real quick just so we can make it look pretty again. Um, always active. Nope, we don't want that one. We frick. We want this one to be active. Good. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's so good. This can also automate applied energistics to inscribers so well. And then the next thing, as you can see, we can place these in the same block. And so we can take this guy here. 
and say put it here in on all sides and so we're gonna do power we're not gonna do any items but for power insert don't extract and so now it's just inserting power from right there into our system in on all sides we're losing power oh i haven't set it to extract the power yet okay this makes sense yep there we go wait do i have to set it oh wait no this needs to extract and always be active whoops i set that wrong Always active, extracting power. These do take a little bit of setup, um, but it, it's so much cleaner and everything is can be so much more organized. That's why people really like it. So there we go. Now we should start to see, yeah, this thing's going, shooting right back up. We are so good. I was about to say like, oh no, the, the cables can't transfer enough power. Uh, but no, we're doing, we're doing great. Um, yeah, like we don't have, actually we can make some more of the energy conduit. I don't know what their transfer rate is at because it's not saying. Again, Ender IO just got updated, like not even that long ago. Like today, uh, I'm recording this, this is the first day that Ender IO is available. All right, so this is gonna require some power. Whoops, that is different. Okay, so I set it up very sloppy um, with these. So basically, it's taking the power out and putting it into here, and then also putting it into here and into this guy. As you can see, I've got green set to insert here, and the same for all of these. Um, but yeah, this is this is running and looking awesome. Um, I don't remember. Can you put facades on it? I think there was like conduit covers. Let's look at the uses for conduit binder. Okay, I just don't think it's been added in yet, which is totally fine. But yes, guys, we have officially switched over to Ender IO. Off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more, uh, more of these. I might switch all of these over, or these bottom ones over to the alloy smelters, and then just run like a cable underneath so I don't have to have two of these. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Super Turtle, and this has been All The Mods 9. Guys, Ender IO is here, and we love it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace out, Bye bye